Alright folks, this is our tutorial on our Hero Sprite movement and the next tutorial will be on our Hero Sprite movement and animation. So let's get started. First of all, we need to know that Scratch uses an X and Y coordinate system. What does that mean? It means that if you broke this stage up into a bunch of horizontal lines and vertical lines, that each time those lines intersect, that would be an X and Y coordinate. Notice that X runs left to right and Y runs up and down. And the coordinates for the center of the stage are 0, 0. So, what happens if we move to the right, in the right direction? X increases positively and Y stays at 0. If we were to move up, then Y would increase in a positive number. And if you were to move down, then Y becomes a negative value. If we move to the left, X is negative. So once again, to the right, X is positive. To the left, X is negative. If going up and down on the Y axis, going up is positive and down is negative. All right, so with that understanding, we are going to code this sprite to move when we use our arrow keys, our four arrow keys, up, down, left, and right. So let's get started. When we click the green flag, this is the event that begins the whole code, the whole event. And we're going to say that if, forever if, the key is pressed, this is in the sensing categories, and we're going to start with the up arrow. If the up arrow key is pressed, which would mean we go up, you can see that's on the Y axis. So we're going to use change Y, meaning change our point, our location change in our location on the y-axis by 10 and that's 10 pixels not 10 steps but 10 pixels and if we start this code green flag we move up just like that you need the if you need the forever statement because if this was just an if statement an if statement is basically a check it means that scratch the program is going to check if this certain thing is happening and if this, this thing is happening, then do this. Notice that the if statement is attached to when the green flag is clicked. So what this means is it precisely, exactly when the green flag is clicked, right when I click on it, right when my mouse is there, boom. If, I'm happy, if I happen to be pressing the up arrow key right when I click that green flag, then I would move on the y-axis. So I can show you what that looks like too. I click the green flag and then I press the up arrow, nothing happens. But if I'm pressing up while I click the green flag, then it moves. So you can see that the if statement is a singular check. It checks one time. So when I click the green flag, it's going, is he pressing the up arrow key? No, he's not, therefore I won't move. But if I use the forever block, then it's saying, anytime you're pressing the up arrow key, as long as I've pressed the green flag, I will move you by 10 pixels. So I press the green flag, and now forever, or any time the up arrow key is pressed, we will move by 10. Okay, now here's the cool thing about Scratch. You can just go ahead and duplicate this code, this if statement, this check, for all the other arrows. You can have Scratch forever check if the down arrow is pressed, left arrow, or the right arrow, and then just change the X and Y coordinates accordingly. So I can right click or control click on this, duplicate it, and now that there's two, if I control click on the top one, it'll copy all of this. Duplicate. Four arrows, four if statements, four checks. So if the up arrow is pressed, if the down arrow is pressed, if the left arrow is pressed, and the right arrow is pressed. And I know what you're thinking. But wait, don't you have to change the y-axis to x-axis? Yes, you're right. Remember, left and right, if we look over here, left and right is movement on the x-axis. So we're going to change x on the x-axis. All right, so now, if the up arrow key is pressed, change y by 10. And if I press the down arrow key, change y by 10. Aha, I'm still moving up. That's because down on the y-axis is 
not positive, but it's negative. Therefore, if I'm pressing the down arrow, I must change y by negative 10. All right, and the same thing goes for moving left on the x-axis. This is a negative value. Oh, negative 10, and right arrow is positive. So now we can go left, right, up, and down. All right, that's a quick tutorial on movement. Go ahead and rewind and watch again. Pause and rewind, whatever you got to do to keep up and make sure that your hero is working. Our next tutorial will be on the actual animations of our sprites when they're walking. Thanks. Stay tuned.